When I was a little girl, I used to dream every night about my wedding day. I'd wear a big, beautiful white dress, just like Cinderella. And my father would walk me down the aisle. And then he would kiss my cheek and hand me over to my Prince Charming. And all my family and friends would be there, everyone I loved. The ceremony would be beautiful and we'd be married. And we'd live happily ever after. Should there be anyone here with cause? Why these couples should not be united in marriage? They must speak now or forever hold their peace. The truth must be told. Sir, is there uh, something you'd like to say? If not, I would ask that you please respect the sanctity of the ceremony. I think we're good to go. All right then. Natalie, John, Jessica Brody, we are gathered here today to unite you in holy matrimony. Wait! Sit down, Grandma. I will not sit down. Not after what they've done to you. Do you know these people? No, I have not. May I ask who you are? My name is Rama Patel. I am the wife of Vimal Patel. I was wondering why that guy was here. He works for Clint. It's your friend, isn't it? No, why she's here? Roma, this is not the time or the place. This has nothing to do with you, Aubrey. My husband has something he needs to say. I think that we should just keep on going. I mean, we don't even know this woman. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Her husband, I've seen him before. Sir, you work for Clint, don't you? I met you at his office. Clint? I saw you talking to these people before. Did you fight them? Of course I didn't fight them. Look, everybody, I apologize to my daughters, to my family and friends. These people have no business here. They weren't invited, and I'd appreciate it if you'd take it outside. Oh, what, Clint Buchanan? You'll send your thugs to beat us up? Isn't that how you threaten them up? This is ridiculous. This is our wedding. Now, Uncle Bo, can you do something? I didn't want to get into this. But this man... Demo Patel. He used to work at BE and I had to fire him. He wasn't very happy about that and that's why he's here causing trouble. But enough is enough. We're gonna take it outside. Don't you dare touch my husband. No, Rama, it's all right. He won't hurt me. Not here, not in front of his family. I'm sorry, I apologize to everybody. I am not the kind of man who would ever interrupt a sacred occasion, but Mr. Buchanan is right. I am unhappy. I was a trusted employee, top of my division, and he fired me. Not through any fault of mine, but through something he made me do. And what did Clint do to you, Mr. Patel? Bo, this is my daughter's wedding. We're not going to interrupt it with petty complaints. This has nothing to do with Jessica or Natalie. It has everything to do with them. And you know it. How can this have anything to do with us? I, I don't work at B, and Natalie hasn't for a while. It's not about B. It's about your family. The Buchanan family, and the lengths to which your father will go to keep the legacy safe. You better believe it, lady. I will do anything to protect my family. Including breaking into a genetics lab? I don't know what you're talking about, but you should think long and hard before you accuse me of anything. What about the genetics lab? Mr. Buchanan forced me to break into the genetics lab at the hospital. He wanted me to access confidential test results. What kind of results? DNA test results. Who's? What was he looking for? Uh oh. Look, I don't know you or why you're here or what you've done, but saying that my father forced you to break into a genetics lab, it's, it's crazy. Why would he do that? You know what? I'm here to watch two couples I really care about get married. Here, here. here. So I'm going to help these people out to the parking lot, and then we can get on with the wedding. Rex, um, I think you should talk to him. No, we don't need to do that. For once, Rex and I agree on something. Get the mail out. But this concerns you, Rex Balsam. Why is that, Mrs. Patel? Because of the DNA test. Rex, what are you waiting for? Get him out. Do you think if you push us out, you can keep your dirty little secret? What secret? What is she talking about? Ma'am, if you have something you'd like to say, you can say it at the station house later. Right, I'd like to hear what these people have to say. Spit it out. Yeah. This is my daughter's wedding. I don't want it interrupted with their complaints. Now get out. Don't touch me. My wife is right. 
It's time for the truth to come out. Okay, what, what? The truth about what? My son? Is that what you mean? Rex Balsam is not your son, Mr. Banks. He's Cliff Buchanan's. Clint, is that true? Did you force that man to break into the genetics lab? Mom, no. He couldn't have. Why wouldn't Dad want anyone to know that Rex is his son? It doesn't make any sense. Why are you here interrupting our wedding? But for revenge because my dad fired you? What kind of people are you? Mommy, don't cry. Oh, sweetie. Okay, it's okay. Mommy's not crying. I'm fine. Are you still getting married? Of course we are still getting married. And we are going to be a family. And everything's going to be fine. Hey, can you take Bree outside? Of course. Hey, you want to go for a walk? Maybe we could find some cookies or something. It's okay. You can go with Aubrey. I'll be your aunt Aubrey soon. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'm going to go help him find that cookie. But this is nothing but lies. Right? And the two of you are going to face charges. Zoe. What? But you don't really believe this fantasy, do you? It's not a fantasy. I saw the test with my own eyes. The real DNA test proves that Clint Buchanan is Rex Balsam's father. But Clint didn't want that to be true. So he forced me to change the results so that it named Charlie Banks. This doesn't change anything. Not really. Rex, you're still you. I still love you. Yes, we found some dolls in the playroom. She's good. These Buchanans know how to throw a wedding. Like Joey is ever going to walk down the aisle now. Roma and her husband just cost us all our leverage. Not necessarily. That's the only thing I had on Clint. That he switched the DNA tests. Tests. They've only mentioned one. And it's about Rex Balls. Oh, just wait. It's all going to come out. And then Clint is going to show Joey the tape he made of us. That's why we get Andy. Andy. Look, um, it doesn't matter what all these people are saying because the fact of the matter is, it's impossible. Okay, Rex, my son, suspected that the test had been tampered with. He went out, had a second test done, and the results from the second test proved that he is my son. So Mr. Patel is, 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 uh, is wrong, is the, the long and short of it. I mean, uh, tell him, Rex. Rex? Uh, the truth is... I'm sorry. I lied to you. I didn't have a second test done. I just told you I did. you lie to me because I was happy all my life I've been looking for my father and I found him you a man who I respect who accepts me maybe he's, he's not perfect but hey you know, neither am I I wanted you to be my father to be Shane's grandfather Sheriff's Hill did not want anything to do with Clint Buchanan. Dad, is this true? You heard what he said. He doesn't want anything to do with me. Just leave it alone. You cannot be serious. I have done nothing to be ashamed of. I love my family. Rex is apparently a part of your family. If you forced Mr. Patel to do your dirty work, to erase the fact that Rex is your son, to mislead Charlie, how could you do that? How could you be so cruel? And why? Why wouldn't you tell me that Rex is my brother? I love him. I've loved him my whole life. But he's, he's Liam's uncle. You, you just weren't going to tell me? Son of a bitch. Oh, Dad, you wouldn't do this. I mean, you wouldn't... Deny your own family. I mean, you're ruthless in business, but this family, you're not capable of something like this. I 
let's just hope Plan B works. Clint's in trouble right now, and if he saves us from his family, I'll forgive him. I don't know if Brett and Joey's heart. Where's Bray? Um, she's she's in the playroom. What happened? Are you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. I had to get out of there. My dad, I I can't believe the things he was saying. Jessica, are you all right? Natalie, what I need a moment. My study is free. You're kidding. Sorry. I've just never been to a wedding like this before. How's Bree? Oh, she's good. Aubrey got her some toys. Because if you and your sister would like a little time till we can sort all this out. Excuse me, Reverend. Wait a minute. Okay. Hey. Do you want me to call the sitter, see if she can just sit with Bree until we are ready to have yeah. this wedding? That would be great. Thank okay. you. Okay. You talked me into this. He told the truth. You have nothing to be ashamed about. Sorry, I was looking for Bree. I don't understand this. Huh? You can't just walk into a lab and change test results. So those computers are secure. What is this guy? Some sort of genius hacker? I mean. Why are we letting this complete stranger accuse my father of doing this, Bo? Bring him in for questioning. Jessica, I know, I know it's hard for you to picture your dad doing this, but he said it himself. He's proud of what he's done. And why would Rex make something like this up? I don't know. Dad, say something. Tell them that you wouldn't hurt Charlie like that or Rex. Jessica. I know you want to believe the best of people, but don't you remember when Rex first came to town, what he did to you? He played you to try to get your money. They're saying that he is my brother. He's going to bleed us dry. Can't you see that? So that's what you're saying, Dad? That anyone who comes into the family is a gold digger? Your Rex, your fiance? But I'll just after one thing. He's a con artist who would have dragged us all down. Wrong. Balsam's changed, and you can ask anybody here. And if he's made some mistakes, maybe it's because of how he grew up. And he still turned into a wonderful man and an amazing father. No thanks to you. All right, you can continue to believe that, young lady. But you'll see. And those mistakes that you keep talking about, well, he said it himself. He's not perfect. His words, not mine, because he knows exactly what he is. He is something that never should have happened. Roxy pawned him off. And his real mother couldn't wait to get rid of him. Why? Because he is a mistake. A worthless bastard. You son of a bitch. was my son and then you took him from me i took nothing you want him you can have him you, you you changed the test those tests were dead buried and forgotten if those interlopers hadn't opened their mouths none of this would have happened do you admit that you forced mr patel oh i admit nothing you're a coward clint you did it and everybody here knows that you did it and why why did you do it to protect a little cash your house your car you lied to me. You lied to Rex. You lied to Shane. What gives you the right to do that? Huh? You can't play with people's lives like that. But who the hell are you? Hey, oh, Charlie, 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 Okay, Charlie, please. He's the one who started all of this. Are you serious? This was supposed to be a happy day, your daughter's wedding, and look what you've done. I'm sorry. I am so sorry that you are not my son. And, and Shane, what are we going to tell him? You, you are everything that I ever wanted. Me too. Look, everybody, I, I'm, I'm, I apologize for uh, disrupting this occasion. I'm sorry, and... I can't stay here. No, Charlie, here. please, no, don't go, Charlie. Stay with your daughters. Rex and I will make sure Charlie's okay. Thank you. Who are you? How could you do this? I'm afraid.
afraid that I have to agree with Mr. Buchanan. I think you two have said quite enough. So if you would have the courtesy to leave us in peace, we would appreciate it. My daughters want to get married. Sorry, ma'am, I can't do that. My wife is right. This is too important for all of you. You see, I changed more than one test that day. What do you mean? Mr. Buchanan asked me to change Rex Balsam's paternity test and one other. Mr. Buchanan was not content simply denying his son Rex. He had to do more. What does that mean? Bo, stay out of this. He, he wanted to play God in another child's life. A child. Patel, we've heard enough of your lies. Now we told the truth about Balsam. Oh, wait, I think if Mr. Patel has something to say, we need to hear it. Mr. Buchanan told me to change the paternity of the baby of one of his daughters. What did you do? Dad. What did he do? Clint. I won't let you hurt my family anymore. He's not the one that did that, is he, Dad? You just made a big mistake. What did he do? Mr. Patel, answer her, please. It's better if the child knows who his real father is. Uh, while I was in the lab, Mr. Buchanan wanted me to look at his daughter's paternity test. He wanted me to make sure that it said that Brody Lovett was the father. It didn't. So I changed it. You changed my paternity test? Honey, he didn't say that. But Mom, it had to have been mine. Natalie didn't have a paternity test. Oh, my God. My baby's father is Brody Lovett. Unless you're saying my father has some other daughter. No, I'm not. The man is talking in circles. Just say it. All right, he's done upsetting people. Well, you're not laying a hand on him. Mr. Patel, please explain yourself. When I got to the lab, I was confused because I saw both of Mr. Buchanan's pregnant daughters in the computer. Yeah, well, what the hell are you talking about? Both of your daughters had paternity tests, and you didn't tell me which one to change. No, I really don't know what's going on here. I didn't have time to call you and ask you. What did you do? I flipped a coin. Damn it, whose test did you change? Natalie's or Jessica's? I'm very sorry to tell you this. Mostly for my part in your pain, but... The paternity test that I changed was Jessica's. See, it's okay, honey. It's gonna be all right. I don't believe a word this man says. I hope that's true, Clint, because this is so far off the line. It's... It's criminal. Could your father do this? I don't know what he's capable of doing anymore. It's gonna be okay, honey. It's gonna be okay. Clint says you're a liar. Why should we believe you? Clint fired you and you're just trying to get back at him. This is all... I'm very sorry, Mr. Lovett. I wish it had been your name on that test. But it wasn't. If you really changed the test, then who's the father? A man Clint hates. Robert Ford. But it'll be all right, sweetheart. I promise you. Then, well, I'm going to press charges against the both of you. You're not fooling anyone. I still don't see why we should believe you. Do you have proof? Yeah, I, I kept the original record to show Mr. Buchanan what I'd done. There's a date and time and ID from the hospital computer at the top. I'm, I'm so sorry for what I've done. I never meant to hurt you, but your father's a very difficult man to refuse.
deserve to be happy. You and Brody are in love, and Brody's a good man who's going to be a great father. After everything that you've suffered, you deserve the perfect wedding. You deserve to have a happy beginning. And you tried to make sure that she got one. That's all I've ever wanted for you, Jess. I would cut off my arm before I'd hurt you. I love you so much. I have to go and find Brody. Shall I go with you, honey? Oh, it's okay. Let her go. Let her talk to Brody. Found out he doesn't have a son. John. Not here. But you're gonna tell me why your name's in that computer. The truth this time. I hate this is happening to Jessica. Yeah, I know. I wish there was something we could do. When she first realized it could be Ford's, and that was bad enough. Oh, you did help them. No, I didn't. I didn't do very much. That's not what she told me. She was so happy when she knew it was Brody's. But now... Yeah. It makes it so much worse. Yeah, I know. What do you think will happen with Clint's footage, boss? His family might not even believe it's real. I think that footage is the last thing on Clint's All right, well, if they show up, you know what to do. Okay, good man. Nigel says no reporters have called yet. Thank God. The last thing Jesse needs is to be hounded by... by the press. Unbelievable. No, what, what are you surprised? You still gotta run everything. Please, please do not pretend that you give a damn about our daughter. I love her. What you did could have destroyed her. What the hell were you thinking? Jessica needed that baby to be Brody's. No, you needed it. Jessie was quite prepared to deal with whatever happened. That's why she had the amnio. She and Brody were prepared for the worst. And they would have come to terms with this months ago. Jesse should never have heard any of this. Please, you made it. Things infinitely worse. When the test results came back that said that Brody was the father, they were so relieved. They let their guard down. Jesse was ecstatic. That's what I wanted for them. She needed the truth. And you took that away from her because you needed to be in charge. No, 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 no. That is not true. She was at the altar ready to get married to the man she loves, the man she thought was the father of her baby. This stunt that you have pulled could have cost her everything. She could lose everything. How does she recover from that? Brody? Brody, she's me. Are you in there? Oh, God, Brody. Brody, please, just look at me. Say something, please. There's nothing to say. <clears throat> Ryder isn't my son, and all this time when I would look at him, I thought I saw us, but I couldn't have because he isn't No, mine. he is. He will be. He could be. You said. Yeah. Yeah, I did. When we thought that it was a possibility that Ford could be the father of this baby, you said... You said that you could love him. You said that he would be our child no matter what. You said you could find a way to do that. You are the only man that I wanted to have a child with. The only man that I wanted. You know that, right, don't you? Okay. So we can still get married. And we can go in there. And we can we can have a family, can't we? Just and then after the ceremony, we can go home. Just us. And Ryder. And Bree. And why can't we have that, can't we? We can't pretend. I don't want to pretend. Brody, I don't want to. Look, I know this is hard, but you are such a wonderful man. And you have so much love to give. Ryder loves you already, Brody. He, he turns his head when he hears your voice and his face lights up when he sees your face. Just like yours does when you see him. I don't understand. <laughs> You love him so much already. Roni, it might be someone else's blood, but he has your heart and soul. Why was your name in that computer? You know why? I had an amnio. She didn't want me to worry about the baby, right? Yes. What I have to be worried about? Get a paternity test. It's part. 
heard of the I opinion. saw you, Natalie. I don't know what you're talking when about. When Vimal said there was two paternity tests and he didn't know which one to change, you look like you're about to jump out of your skin. Because I was worried about Jessica. That's it? Yeah, and I didn't know if we were going to get married. I mean, this is our second wedding that's blown up in our face. Anything else? I don't know what you're thinking. I am worried about Jessica, so I... I Marty came to see me before the wedding. Well, it's been a busy guy, hasn't he? Oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, poor Jessica. Your whole family. You know, at least now we have enough to arrest him. Um, not much. Well, at least we can hold him until we can charge him with your kidnapping and Eddie Ford's murder. Listen, you can say whatever you want. Accuse me of whatever you want. But you know I love my daughter. No, I don't know you at all. The man that I married, he would not have denied his own son. Rex is not truly mine. No. Because it's all about you, isn't it? It's just what matters to you. What about everybody else? Look what you have done to my husband. He'd already lost one son. Now you've taken another one from him. You're playing with his life and with Rex's life. Aren't you have poisoned everything and everyone you touched? I don't think Mom was done. I haven't even started. I can't do this right now. I'm very sorry for everything I had to tell you today. But you deserve the truth. Oh, excuse me? Where are you going? Home. Huh? Guess again. With you. Got it, right? Okay, please just wait right here. Flint Buchanan, you're under arrest. For what? Well, you just confessed. You broke into a lab. You tampered with medical records. I did no such thing. Um, actually, Bo, he didn't. I'll worry about making the charges stick. You have the right to remain silent. This is a farce. Do you understand? If you give up that right, everything you say can be used against you in a court of law. Are you gotta have the same we gotta, we gotta go home. She, she took Liam once. She probably showed up at your place thinking that that's where he was gonna be. Do you have your phone? He knew already. I didn't know that Marty was out. I knew that Star thought she was getting better. Where'd you hear that? Brody. He stopped by to see Jessica and the baby before the ceremony. Brody. John, we, we need to make sure that Liam is safe. Marty's not a threat. She knows that Liam's not hers. She's probably just fooling you. She's she's delusional. She's she's not stupid. She seemed very sane. But you can't trust that. Tell me that you took her back to St. Anne's, right? Not right away. Why not? Marty broke out. Because she wanted to tell me something. Something that I'm sure didn't make any sense. She wanted to tell me about you and Brody. Now's your chance. You want to tell me about you and Brody? Please say something. I'm not the man you wish I was. Yes, you are. Brody, oh my God, you're everything. No, no. I want to be that guy for you. That great father. And a perfect husband, but I can't do it. Oh my God. Because none of it's true. You can't live with what I did. You... That I slept with Ford. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I didn't even know what I was doing when I slept with Ford. I didn't want him. I didn't want him at all. I know that. This isn't... That's not what I meant. This is my fault. You were just trying to help me. You didn't know that I would get upset and that I would run off. It was not your fault no, please, at all. Please, just Jessica, listen to me. This has nothing to do with Ford. This is about me. I am not... I'm not a good guy. Oh, my God. That's not true. Yes, yes it is. And that's why I can't be the man you deserve and who that baby deserves. I don't understand. I lied. I lied to you, Jessica. I stood up there in front of that church, in front of all those people, and I lied. And maybe that's why this is happening. Maybe I'm being punished. I don't understand. 
What lie? I don't know. What did Marty tell you? What? John, she... She hates my guts, and she thinks that I ruined her life. She's sick, and you're listening to her, so what'd she say? You really want to keep doing this? Doing what? Stop lying to me! Mr. and Mrs. Patel, I think if you care about Joey, make sure he sees this soon. Several questions that I want to ask. Let's go. We dodged a bullet, sis. Time comes out of trouble. That footage will be a distant memory. How can you say this is your fault? I'm the one that fucked up Ford. It was my mistake. Oh, I've made mistakes too, Jessica. I should have told you. And well, you haven't done anything half as bad as what I. Natalie and I talked about this over and over, and I knew it was wrong to keep quiet. About what? What does this have to do with Natalie? Marty showed up at the courthouse to stop our wedding because she had something to tell Jessica. Why are we talking about Marty? This is supposed to be our day. When John... Bemmel said he changed one of the paternity results, I watched you. But for about two seconds before you caught yourself, you know what I saw? I saw hope. Why is that? Come on. Come on, spit it out. Talk to me, Natalie. Talk to me, because you know what? Lying ain't working anymore. I'm sorry. I wish none of this had happened. And so does your sister. What? What happened? What? What are you talking about? I slept with Natalie. I slept with Brody. Because Ford is Ryder's father? I'm not saying this to get back at you. The last thing I want to do is hurt you, Jess. That's why I didn't tell you before. This is true. I'm so sorry. I would give anything if it wasn't. I wish it had never happened. I wish I didn't have to tell you this, but it's all going to come out now anyway, so I... I wanted to tell you first, so I could try to make you understand. How am I supposed to understand? The man that I was going to marry cheated on me with my sister. So that's what you wanted to tell me about you and Brody. Marty knew I was going to tell you everything. Everything? What else is there? I need you to understand. Exactly what happened that night that Brody and I got together. Yeah, I'm listening. I would never, never cheat on you, Jessica. This thing with Natalie wasn't an affair. It was a one-time thing when we were together, and and I thought I would. I thought I'd lost you forever. We were not back together yet. It was the night that I wrote you the note to meet me at Rhodey's at midnight if there was still a chance for us. And you didn't show up. And then I saw you with Marty. So I thought that our chance was over. I was leaving Landview for good. 
was the night of the prom. You were still confused, and you were chasing after Christian, and I was, I was so desperate to get you back tonight. I pushed you to remember what Mitch had done to you. But it backfired. You were so furious, you told me you never wanted to, to see me again. I believed you. So I, I bought a bottle and went back to my room, and I, and I drank a lot. I got really, really drunk. And I went to Brody's to say goodbye. Bye. Yeah. I'm leaving Landview for good. And he'd been drinking. I joined him. John's been in my heart so long. I don't know how to get him now. Jessica was the best thing that's ever happened to me. I lost her for good. We were just trying to make the pain stop. And then... One night, it never happened again. That's not the end of the story, is it? No. It's not. And then I went to the airport. I was, I was moving on with my life. And then... You showed up. And you asked me to stay. I don't know what the hell we've been doing the last few years. But above all others, you belong with me. I was blown away. We had a future together. Everything changed. And then a miracle happened. You showed up at my door. Jessica, are you okay? He's been in the world, Jessica. And I had your back, and nothing else mattered. Oh, it, that night, Rom, when I remembered, that, that was the night that I had sex with Ford, and we conceived the baby. You're right. The night you and Ford conceived Ryder, that was the night I was with Natalie. Does Marty fit into all this? She blames me for Cole's arrest, and she blames me for losing you, and she just... She wanted to pay me back. So she just kept digging and digging until she finally found something, because she saw me and Brody talking several times, and then she had confidential information because of Brody's therapy session with her. She, she put it together. Also said there was something I didn't know about the baby. Natalie's son, she said. Natalie and I found out that we were pregnant on the same day. Our due dates were the same day. We might even have conceived on the same day. What do I need to know about Liam? Why was telling the truth before? You're the one that dragged her up to the lodge. You're the one who had the shotgun. You kept her there. Yes. Yes, but I, I never was going to hurt Marty. I just needed her out of the way for a little while so that I could tell you the truth. I'm here now. Tell me now. Please, John. Tell me now. Please. Tell me. Come on. I want to hear you say it. I want to hear it. I want to hear you say it! That man... He said that both of Clinton's daughter's DNA results were in that computer, Natalie's and mine. We were worried Natalie's baby might be mine, so she had a paternity test. 
she got her results the same day you got yours. Oh, God, Jessica, you don't know how happy I was when we found out your test results showed that the baby was mine. So we thought. What about Natalie's? What about Natalie's? Her test... She told me that her test showed that John was the father of hers. You don't know how relieved I was. Say it. Say the words. <sighs> Say it! You're not the father of my baby, Brody. <laughs> when they found out he was the father of Jessica's babies. Oh. But he isn't. We know that now. God, I didn't want to take anything away from him and Jess, or you especially. So I, I just told Brody that the paternity son, paternity son said that you were the father. And I, I, I wanted that to be true. I wanted it so badly. I even convinced myself sometimes that it was true. But it isn't. You've been passing his kid off as mine since you got the results of that test. You made me go through all this. I went through it with you. The, the pregnancy and the, the christening and going to the classes. I... I felt I took I took the bait every time. I took the bait and like an idiot, I fell for it. I fell in love with that kid. I'm so sorry, Jeff. I'm so sorry I didn't want this to happen. You didn't want it to happen? You don't get to decide. You don't get to decide this. You just like your dad. You know, you're not God, Natalie. You're not God and neither is Clint. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about Natalie? I wanted to. I, tr I tried to, but you had just been the hell and back with Mitch, and I didn't want to. Put I had a right to else. know, Brody. Don't you think it killed me to tell you about Ford? Of course, I know it did. I put our relationship at risk, and I hated myself for that. But I could not keep a secret like I that know. from somebody that I love. I know how badly you felt, Jessica, but you didn't have to, I, and, and you shouldn't have, but... But what? What? But this was different. How? It wasn't just our relationship at stake. It was John and Natalie's, and, and more importantly, it was yours and Natalie's. What? It, you were sisters. Natalie was afraid that if you knew she'd... If we had been together, that you would never be able to forgive her. I'm such an idiot. All those times... Marty tried to warn me about the amnio which you hid from me. Now I know why, because you wanted to have a paternity test. John, I wanted to tell you. But you did. You lied, Natalie. And you just kept on lying. You were never going to stop lying. How could you say you love me and trust me so little? Trust? You're demanding trust and yeah. honesty right now, from me? I think because it's that would make little. everything so much better, right, John? Come on! We both know that you wouldn't have been able to accept the truth. What are you saying? If I had come to you and said that this baby was another man's baby, would you have welcomed him as your own? <laughs> the thought of you and Natalie together, I feel sick. And Marty, she was trying to tell me. She knew and she was trying to tell me. I wanted to tell you. I didn't want you to hear from Marty. I wanted you to hear from me first. I didn't want you to be blindsided like I just was, finding out our son isn't mine. I know, Brody. I know you're suffering here, too. In a couple of minutes, I went from being a father to not being one. I had a son, and now I don't. When Brody didn't know whether he was the father of Jessica's baby, you said you couldn't accept another man's child as your own. Those were your exact words. Wow. You're actually going to try to put this on me. John, I was scared. 
When I found out I was pregnant, I was so scared I, I considered having an abortion because I didn't want to have the wrong man's baby, but I wanted this. I wanted us. I wanted this family. And I knew that you wanted a child, too. I knew how sad you were when you lost the baby. I love you. I wanted to give this to you. He's not mine. He's not mine. You can't just give me another man's child. Liam. Liam is Brody's child by blood. Johnny's your son. What are we going to do, Jess? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I can't even think straight. I have to go home. <laughs> I have to go home to my baby. Your baby. to say to each other. But Jessica and Brody, you might have something to say to them. Not now. If you don't tell them, I will. Tell us what? It's about the... Okay, okay, okay. I... Tell you everything. I'm not leaving until you do. John, please. It's just hard enough as it is. Oh, well, it's about to get harder, buddy. Hey, I get that you're angry. You have every right to be. But Natalie and I never meant to hurt you and Jessica. Yeah, that's what you told me. No, we weren't We weren't thinking. We were drunk. We were alone. And I thought I'd lost Jessica forever. And Natalie thought... I know what she thought. I didn't mean anything. And no matter what, at least you... Get to go home to your son tonight. I don't. Okay, Brody, just stop. Stop what? Wait. Natalie has something to say. Go ahead. What is it, Natalie? I've been. I've been lying to you. Not just to. Uh, not just to you and John. But to you, Brody. And now I need to tell the truth. I'm so sorry that Brody and I slept together. It never should have happened. And it's like it was over. We, we wish we could take it back. We, all you had to do was tell John and me the truth. We might have understood then. But we couldn't. We couldn't. I never wanted to lie to you, Jess. I don't want to lie to anyone. But we just got you back. And I couldn't risk losing you to mental illness again. 
You were so happy you were with Brody and, and I was with John and everybody was where they were supposed to be and I wasn't going to just destroy all of that for one mistake that was never going to happen again. I understand. I understand exactly how you felt. You do? Yes. I felt the same thing when I was trying to s decide if I should tell Brody that I slept with Ford. But I told him and we survived. Why did you have such little faith that we could get past it too? You can't compare what happened with me and Brody to what happened between you and Ford. You didn't sleep with your sister's boyfriend. You, did, you didn't sleep with the best friend of the man that you were in love with. Ford wasn't even a part of your life. So that makes it okay to lie about it. And it wasn't just the four of us anymore, Jessica. We were pregnant and I had to protect the babies that were being born into this oh, family. Well, Natalie, God. <laughs> you did a bang up job of that. It doesn't matter, really, for me and Brody anymore. We built a life together, assuming that we were going to have a child. None of that's true. It doesn't make a difference to you, though, because you and John still have your baby. <laughs> no, we don't have anything. What are you, what are you talking about? John. Liam. Liam isn't my son. He's broken. Oh, my God. What did you just say? Go ahead. Finish it. That's true. <gasps> the baby's broken. Oh, God. God. Just say it. He was John's baby. You told me you were having John's baby. She lied. I'm sorry, Brody. I didn't mean to. You have to believe me. It's just that I didn't know what I was going to say until it came flying out of my mouth and, and I couldn't take it back. It was How too late. How could you do this? I thought everything was going to be okay. It's okay to keep my son from me? You were having a son. You, you were having the one you wanted with Jessica. You and Jess were getting your happy ending and I just wanted me and John to have ours too. No one was supposed to know about this. <laughs> Somebody did know, right? Marty. That's what she tried to tell me. This is it. The first time you guys tried to get married, isn't it? She, she stole a copy of the maturity test and she's been holding it over my head for months. And instead of coming clean, you just, you just took it? Anything to keep us from learning the truth? I did this for us. For all of us, the truth. You didn't do this for me. You didn't do it for Brody. You didn't do it for those babies. And you sure as hell didn't do it for John. You did it for yourself, you lying, selfish whore. No, no. I need to talk to Natalie alone. You'd be all right. Will you? That's it? That's, that's all you had to say to me? Take care of your kid, Brody. I don't think of Liam that way. Better start. Parents like you and Natalie, he's gonna need all the help he can get. I had no idea. This entire time when I confided in you. When I told you about what happened with Ford. When I told you about how scared I was that Brody and I weren't going to make it when we christened our children. When I suggested that we stand at the altar together and marry the man that we love. You just, you just didn't say anything. You just kept on lying. I thought I was doing the right thing. The right thing. The right thing would have been to tell the truth and come clean with everything. But you're not interested in that, are you, Natalie? You never have been. The only thing you're interested in doing is hurting me. Jess, that's not You've always true. wanted my life. 
you have. That's the reason why you came to town in the first place. To steal my family, all of my loved ones. It wasn't enough that you were real Buchanan. You had to take yes! that you know that you're the... And then, and then, you went after Brody, and you took the family that we were supposed to have together. You wouldn't quit till it was all gone. I... No, I wouldn't do that. No. I woke up this morning, and I had a baby with Brody, and now I don't. You do? Good job, well done. Jessica, no, 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 I did not want any of this. You, you've got to believe me, please. I am not the person. I am not the person that I was when I came here, okay? I love you. We're sisters. This was a gift from my sister. I don't know what you are, but you're not my sister. Jessica. Jess, are you in there? I got rid of you. You can't be here. There are plenty of places I can't be. But when does that ever stop me, huh? God, what is up with your dress? You look like someone's used tissue. So, Jessica, how was your day? You were supposed to get married today, but then you find out that your caveman fiancé is not really your baby daddy, but instead he is your sister's. I turn my back for one second. I'm not listening to you. I got rid of you before, and I can do it again. I can make you go away. Oh, come on, Jessica, lighten up. You know you don't want me to go anywhere. Why would you? Because you're a psycho. You say it like it's a bad thing. Come on, Jessica, let's face it. I am here because you cannot handle this disaster on your own. So let's just cut to the chase and let me come back to you. Admit it, you are in way over your head with Natalie. Was it the last time that redhead screwed you over? Putting you out was the biggest mistake of my life. Compared to trusting Natalie again, this isn't even close. You've been so busy being like, oh my god, Natalie, we're so connected, we're twins. Ugh, gag me. You didn't even notice that she was lying to you the whole time. I mean, not only did she do it with Brody, she got knocked up with his kid. Way to screw up your life, baby cakes. And I will fix it without you. No, you won't. 
I can handle that bitch. I took care of Natalie before. I can take care of her again. Oh, come on, Jessica. You can tell me. Just us girls. I don't want to tell you anything. Not even that you want my help? I know you do. Your life sucks right now, and it's all because of Natalie. I know that you are dying to get that little bitch what she deserves. You won't. I'm stronger than that. You're not getting out. I won't let you. Okay, fine. You don't want my help? No skin off my tight little ass. But I was just a little bit curious. About what? You know, what it was like, Brody and Natalie, together. Watch it. All hurt and mad and licking their wounds. <laughs> How hot is that? Drunk, angry sex. Pow! One time and they got a baby. <laughs> That's enough. Oh, you're right. Maybe it was more than just once. Just the thought of it gives me a tingle. I wonder if you pinned her up against the wall when they did it. Bet she never does that with you. I'm not, not the same. Oh, what's the matter, Jesse? Is all this sex talk making you nervous? Is that because your daddy Mitch tried to make a baby with you? Isn't that what sent you all the way back to being that chirpy little virgin you were in high school? Shut up! And then, when you couldn't get Christian, you just hopped in bed with Ford and Natalie got Brody and you got this. Unless you can't afford the little bastard. I said shut up! Ooh, angry much? Good aim. But you should know by now I'm not in the mirror. So you can throw a bomb at me. You're not going to get rid of me, so you can just stop trying. No, I'm not letting you take over my life! What life? The one that you had with Brody? Even if you could salvage this thing with Ford and play sharesies with the kid or whatever, you do know that Brody was kind of kicked in the gut when he found out that Ryder and the Storm wasn't his, right? He'll get past it. I know he will. Yeah, maybe. But then you do realize that you have another problem. Because soon, Brody's going to look at Liam and say, Huh, he has my chin. Oh, yeah, right. That's because he's mine. And what about that hot little redhead mama? Brody loves me. He loves Bree, and he'll he'll learn to love Ryder too. What for? He's got his own son with Natalie. Why the hell would he want to have anything to do with Robert Ford's little bastard? Why are you fighting this? You know you need me, Jessica. I don't. I don't. Your life is a disaster. So as usual, you need me. I know you because I am you. You can go ahead and run and hide. I know you want to. No. No, so I'm, I'm going to face this. Do you even know what that means? Are, do you really want to be around to watch Natalie and Brody play house with little Liam until one day he just decides to walk out on you? He wouldn't do that. Really? Not even for his son? Because no matter what you do, no matter what happens, you cannot change the fact that Natalie and Brody have a baby. Away. I don't need you to go away! When I open up my eyes, you'll be gone.
Stick your tongue back in your head and quit staring at my boobs. I wasn't staring at your, them. I was, I was just trying to figure out why you're dressed like that. What, hot? This is just how I roll. Right now, I'm ready to party. What's going on? What's wrong with you? Well, I'm breathing and thirsty as hell, so I'm going to go inside for a drink. Whoa, hang on a second. You can't drink? Are you kidding? Don't you have hepatitis C? A couple drinks won't kill me. Yeah, but aren't you breastfeeding? Again, with the boobs. What is it with you? What's it with you? You're not acting like yourself at all. Why are you out clubbing right now? I mean, I, I get that you're upset about your wedding being ruined and everything, but shouldn't you be home? <sighs> What I do is none of your business. Oh, yeah, it is my business, since the two of us have a child together. Yeah, that's right. I know. Ryder is our son. Except he isn't. I saw Brody, and I know that he thinks he's the father of this child, but you and I, we created this baby. Oh, I thought you smelled familiar. What is that ode to cheese ball that you're wearing? Excuse me? No, there's no excuse for you. You're the coward Robert Ford, Jessica's baby daddy. Je Since when do you refer to yourself in the third person, uh, Don't Jessica. worry your pretty little head about it, okay? Just get out of my way. I need to have a drink. No, come on, Jessica. Talk. Are you really that thick? No, but you're nothing like the Jessica that I know. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Are you... Are you 17 again? Oh, yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? But I'm not, okay? I'm all woman, let me assure you. And the name's not Jessica. It's Tess. Wait, 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 wait Tess, that's, what is that, one of your, her? Alter egos, yes. I'm the best and the brightest. And I assure you, every bit of me is real. Even the boobs you were so fascinated with before. Uh, you know, I remember reading something about that uh, in the tabloids a while back. Mm -hmm. um, was it Natalie Banks? You locked her and her husband up and then tried to <laughs> blow them up or something? Yeah, that was good times. I almost got away with it, too. But those two, they deserved it for what they did. The man that I loved. Anyways, that was then. Natalie's nothing to worry about now. Actually, if it weren't for her and that bonehead Brody, I wouldn't even be here. I know. So Jessica is... Gone, baby gone. Things got too much for her, so I came out to play. Play what? Whatever I want to, sweetheart. The sky is the limit with me, and this time, nothing's gonna stop me. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. What about me? I'm gonna let the mother of my child run around acting like a stupid lunatic. Correction. Jessica's the lunatic and the mother. I'm just here to have fun. I'm taking you home. Take Let's go. your hands off. Of me. Look, I'm not in the mood for your drama, okay? Langston is inside and she's waiting for me. Oh, you're the little teen queen. That's what you're into, right? Seducing young girls. You're only interested in Jessica when she thought that she was 17. It's easier to get them into bed, right? Talk about chamber of horrors. No wonder she came screaming for me. Wait, what, what are you talking about? Why do you think that she didn't remember whether you had sex or not? Because it was me. You're lying. I wish I was. I was locked up for a year and a half to wake up with this waxed gorilla on top of me. It was the worst 30 seconds of my life. Yeah. I think it was a little longer than 30 seconds. Emphasis on little. That's it. I'm calling your family. Ah, I wouldn't make that call. Not if you ever want to see your kid again. Exposing me would be a big mistake. You think I'm going to listen to you? You're off your rocker. I know. And they're going to ship me off to the loony bin. And where is that going to leave you? On my date with Langston. What about when you want to see your son? What about it? Well, I'm the only one that's going to let you. Yeah, well, I've seen it. How'd that go for you? Hmm? It got ugly. Mm, you quit Brody out? Brody. Oh, Brody, yes. Well, I hope you got a really good long look, because that's the last time you're ever going to see him. I'm the biological father. I've got rights. Do you think the Buchanans give a rat's ass about your rights? They own half this town. They can hire the best lawyers in the world. Look at the lengths that Clint went to to make sure that you didn't even find out whether this kid was yours, okay? Their team of sharks are going to make you look like a deadbeat pedophile, which, to be honest, sweetie, isn't that far from the truth. And that's going to be all she wrote. All right, well, then I'll get my own lawyer. Oh, with what money, sweetie? Face it, you need me.
Now be a good boy and put your phone away. You know, I probably didn't think this whole thing through too well. I probably shouldn't have come to a place where people know Jessica or <laughs> me. But uh, running into you has given me an idea of how I can make this work for both of us. Oh, yeah? How's that going to work? You get to see your son. Just got to play by my rules. It's like I have to take this. This is important night for both of us. Oh, okay? more important than your baby. Get rid of her. And if you tell her about me, I promise you, you will never see your child again. Hello? Finally, where are you? Hi, I'm sorry. I got hung up. I'll explain everything. Well, are you coming or not? Uh, hello? I'm waiting. Are you with someone? No. Uh, no, sorry. Langston, I think you have a bad connection, but I'll see you later, okay? All right, now tell me, how am I going to get to see my son? Come with me. I'll explain on the way. I can't go anywhere with you. Mason's waiting for me. <sighs> oh, Brody, do you want to see your child again or not? Well, how to get what we both need in the Buchanan family. So what's it going to be, Daddy? You coming with me? Where? I'll explain on the way.